Hey yo, duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another video and another product for Stream Up. This is the new Final Fantasy message that gets typed out. I'm sure we all know the famous line, right? So this is all animated directly inside of OBS. No browser sources needed, anything like that. It's going to be working with Streamer Bar and also Leoran Board. It's super easy to get set up. You can use it as a channel point. That's how this is set up at the moment. But if you know how to mod like change the code a little bit, modify it, you'll be able to make it for pretty much anything. It's completely up to you guys, all right? I'm gonna show you how to get it installed. Put your rock the stone. Let's go. So first things first with this, there's obviously a couple of prerequisites you need to download and get installed. The first thing we're going to do is actually create a Twitch channel point. So to create a Twitch channel point, it's just on your da creator dashboard. Go to viewer rewards, then channel points, then press manage rewards and channel points. I've already got mine created just here, which is highlight your message on screen. To create it, you just go down to the bottom, add a customer reward. You can call it anything you want. The only thing you need to make sure you turn on is require viewer to enter text. So just make sure you turn that on. That will allow them to type a message in there so they can highlight it on screen. And that is it. That's all set up from there. The only thing you'll need to remember is exactly what you have called this channel point redeem. So I'm going to leave that open. So to download this product, it's going to be on the StreamUp website. All the links are going to be in the description. You can get it on the product page. It will be down under widgets. Obviously, I'm filming this before we've released it. So it's not there right now, but you'll see it. You'll download it. It will take you to a, um, a coffee page where you can actually uh, donate towards the, the creation of all our content that we do for StreamUp. And that will help us further improve products and plugins further down the line. And also add in some cool features as well. So consider just doing a dollar, $10, $2, $3, $0. It's up to you. Completely up to you. So once you've got it downloaded, it will actually look a little bit like this it's just gonna be a zip file standard zip file so what we need to do is copy it somewhere onto our computer and then never move it again because if you move it obs is going to lose track of all the folders within that and all the files so it's not going to work properly so i'm just going to copy the well you can either unzip it or just go into it and then copy it out so i'm just going to copy it and i've got a little section on my computer in documents and then stream up stuff and i've got all the different stream up products that i've got installed there so I'm just going to paste it directly in there. And inside that folder, you've got the Leora bot installed, the stream bot installed, all the prerequisites. So make sure you download and install all them first. That's like the Final Fantasy font. Also, make sure they're up to date, the plugins. You will need to definitely make sure Move Transition is up to date because I did a... a I've got hiccups. Uh, I did a recent video on the new Move Transition plugin that has been changed. I think we're on 2.5.2 or something like that now. It's, just make sure you're up to date. Otherwise, this will not work. It will not type out the messages because they added, Excel added that in the recent update. So make sure, I implore you to make sure that that is up to date. Once that's all up to date, we can open up OBS. So crank OBS open. So once in OBS, we're going to go up to tools, go down to stream up. We're going to navigate to the folder that we just saved, which was in uh, documents. I've already forgot. Uh, stream up stuff. And then I've got the Final Fantasy 7 highlight message just here. And we're going to open the stream up file just there. So open that up. It's going to look like nothing's happening in OBS. But if you scroll down your scene list, you'll see a brand new scene, stream up widgets, Final Fantasy 7 highlight message. So I'm going to click into that. It's going to look like a blank scene because all the sources are currently off. Even if we turn them on, nothing's going to happen because they actually animate on screen. So next we need to get it set up in StreamerBot. So I'm going to jump into StreamerBot and on the actions tab, again, mine might look a little bit different because I'm using the beta, but we're going to right click in here and press import. And then we can import the string just there. So if we go to the folder, um, the highlight message folder and go to stream about install. We can just drag and drop that in there like so. If that doesn't work for you, you can double click into it and just copy the text and then just paste the text directly into stream about there. And it'll say we're installing the Final Fantasy VII highlight message. Just press import. And if you've got widgets from us already, you'll already have the, the tab stream up widgets. But if not, it will create that and it will also create the Final Fantasy VII highlight message. So we're going to tap into there. And there's only two things that you ever need to adjust in here. So we've got the typing speed. So that's how fast it types each letter out. Okay, so you can change that, obviously bringing it down. This is in milliseconds as well. So each character currently takes 25 milliseconds to type. 
Uh, obviously you can have it longer or shorter. And then the other thing you need to change is how long you want the message to stay on screen for, which is just there. So you just double click into them and adjust the values to whatever you want. So the type and speed, if you wanted it quicker, you just change the value in there. And that is it. In Streamerbot, you can obviously use a channel point if you want to. So if I go to channel point rewards on there, uh, I actually already have the highlight your message on screen because we created that in Twitch earlier. If I double click into that, we can set the action up and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom because it'll be the most recent thing we installed. Final Fantasy 7 highlight message, press OK like so. And then if I zoom out and I go into OBS and use the channel point redeem, so highlight message on screen, I'm just going to type in test. Obviously, make sure OBS is connected, right? I'm going to put reconnect on that. It'll probably help. So if I'm in OBS now and go to highlight message, and I'm just going to type in test there. You'll see it gets animated on screen test like so. And that is it. It's all set up. If you want to put that onto a different scene or anything like that, you can just go to whatever scene you want. So if I go to just chatting, I can right click, press add, add scene. And then we go and find the stream up uh, widgets, Final Fantasy 7 highlight message, press OK. And that is it. That's installed on there. So I can use it again. Uh, and I'll type in another test like so. And then that'll type it on there. We can put it anywhere we want on that scene as well. As if by magic. That is it. All installed. So it's a similar sort of process for installing it into Leoran board. So if I open up the Leoran board receiver and I connect to Twitch, I'm actually going to shut down a streamer bot so it doesn't conflict. Um, as you won't be able to see it actually being triggered from Leoran board, it'll trigger it from streamer bot. So if I go to install extension, press OK and go to the folder, you know, the highlight message folder and go to the Leoran board install this time. Like so, double click on the LBE file and that'll put it straight into the Orin board just here. So I've kind of done it a little bit different with the Orin board. It's just set up to be a welcome message as such. Uh, no, actually, sorry, it was a channel point. So as you can see, when we press right click and go to edit Twitch trigger, we need to go back to our channel point reward so it's highlight message the best thing to do is copy this because you need it to be exactly the same the exact same typeface and everything like that so if i paste that in here leave that little star asterisk and leave this ticked on here and press done and i'll press done again and then now when i go back to obs and i try and do the highlight message again press two and i press chat you'll see it does the exact same thing on there. And that's not being triggered from Streamerbot or anything like that. It's just being triggered from the Orin board. Obviously, you can adjust the code and everything to do whatever you want. So if you wanted to do um, a different trigger, so instead of a channel point, then you can obviously change all the uh, the pull values and the triggers as well. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial because I've got a ton of tutorials on that kind of stuff. But that's pretty much it. That's how to get it installed. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And hopefully this has like inspired you to create some stuff. If so, please let me know what you've made down below. Love to see it. I just love the creativity that's going around streamers right now. It's insane. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So if you want to support me, then consider joining Patreon or the YouTube channel memberships down below. Uh, and obviously, if you want to support StreamUp and get early access to all our betas, then consider joining their Patreon as well. Well, our Patreon. I don't know why I say they, but whatever. All the links are in the description, all right? I'll see you in the next one. Quit rock of the stone. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.